All right, guys, first go back here. Just out uh, my test ride. Just put a bit of juice in the bike. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not a a six three six. All that is a really good bike. Never had a chance to ride one yet because. Karazaki shop said I have to be 25 to ride a 600, but I can ride the 1000 at 21 because that makes fucking sense. But yeah, it's a it's an MT09 or an FZ09 for you Yanks. So yeah, let's go going. Oh yes, it has the Acrobovic on it too. That that sound amazing. Fucking hell, yeah, that's snatchy. Yeah, it's still quite snatchy. Just the mirrors, I can't see shit. Must have been a midget that's been on it. Oh, fucking hell, that's really bad. Put it in B mode until I get out of town. Oh, that acrophobic, though. I can feel it in my chest, it's going dun 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 dun. Uh, the uh, seating position compared to my bike um, is very high, uh, but that's only because uh, the seat doesn't really um, the seat doesn't really uh, dip in. It's uh, quite quite flat. You, you, it feels like you're sitting on top of the tank. Well, I mean, it does for me, anyways, compared to my seating position on my bike. Uh, feels like I'm sitting on top of the tank here. Um, but I mean, it, it gives you a very commanding uh, position on the road, um, which is nice, and uh, it gives you a good view above cars. So if you're filtering, uh, this would be a really good uh, seating position for that. Yeah, there's a definite difference between being standard. Uh, <laughs> From what I've been told, uh, standard is full power, but uh, oh, uh, B is um, like less throttle response and whatnot, and standards the power and better throttle response. And then you've got A, which is just like fucking balls to the wall power, full power, full speed. But listen to it, man. <laughs> Sounds men! Goes like shit off a shovel as well. Oh! Oh, God, I've just come! Uh, this model I'm riding uh, has the Ibis, which is what I'd be going for if I bought it. I've never, I've never locked up my front wheel on my motorbike that I've got at the minute. Um, I've locked up the back, you know, but I've never locked up the front as far as I'm aware. Um, but, you know, it's just there, just in case I need it. You know, if it's wet and greasy and someone decides to be a dick and pulls out on me and I hit the brakes and I just slip straight away, at least the ABS is there to save my ass. Um, Hopefully I'll never need the ABS, but like I said, I don't mind the being there because it's not intrusive. It doesn't um, get in the way of riding the bike. So, you know, that's just how I feel on ABS. I don't think it's a bad thing at all. Um, if you don't want ABS, you don't need ABS. You know, if, if you don't want it, you don't have to harp on at people who want it uh, and say that they're not a purist and all that pish. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if they want it, they can have it. If you don't want it, you don't need to have it. There we go. Problem fucking solved. Done. Oh my god. Oh, it's so loud! I wouldn't be getting it in this colour though. Uh, this is like the purpley blue uh, colour. I'd uh, actually want it in the orange. I want it in the blazing orange. It tips over very, very nice actually. You know, a little bit of uh, movement and you're, you're starting to bank, which is nice. Um, it, I'm, like I said, I'm still comfortable. Um, the wind doesn't really bother me at all because obviously riding a naked bike, uh, 
I'm not a fucking pussy, pussy ass bitch like all you other guys. I'm just kidding. Don't unsub, don't unsub. But no, uh, I, I'm fine with the wind because uh, I've always had, um, I've always had uh, like naked bikes. So uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, not too bothered with uh, with the wind and all that. You know. Um, so that doesn't really uh, uh, that doesn't really bother me at all, because um, you know it just feels normal to me. If anything, when I jump when I jump on my friend's uh, Thundercat, it felt fucking weird because I couldn't feel anything. Uh, there was no air, so it felt very strange, and I didn't like it. So uh, you know, I'm I don't get neck pain. Uh, it's just something you get used to, to be honest. Uh, well, actually, to be honest, I've never ever had neck pain, so I'm not sure where all you guys coming in and saying you got neck pain come from. Maybe you're just old, uh, but you know, I feel fine. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good. Like, uh, let's see what we got. Right, so that's trip one, trip two, miles per gallon. At the minute, I'm doing 63.6 miles to the gallon at 50 or 48 miles an hour. How cool is that? Oh, bumps. Uh, average, there we go. Average miles to the gallon is uh, 49.8. No, isn't that fucking badass? 72 degrees. Uh, air temperature is 3 degrees. That feels about right, actually. Yeah, there's that speed camera I looked on Google last night for. <laughs> Let's just keep it on average. Oh, come on, man. You can't, you can't not like that. Look at all the snow though! Ugh! Snow! Oh, it's a little snowplow! Woo! Got snowplow! Yeah! And I really should have just went in there, so I'm gonna try and turn around. I need to be in there. With this exhaust on, it's gonna fucking happen. Oh man, crotch rocket! How the fuck did you get rid of this? I can't. Bel I still can't believe you gave got rid of the bike, and I would have bought yours had I had the money. I would have happily sucked your dick and gave you the money for this bike, uh, which is a real shame because I really wanted it. But um, persistence and dreams prevail, and I will have this fucking bike. Yes! Much yes! Lots of yes! Oh, my ears! Oh god, that's so loud! Good, I like it. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that, that I'm quite happy with that. It's got the Acropovic on it as well. Yeah, it was bouncing off myself. I just feel it going. <laughs> fucking hell. Look before you cross your stupid little bint. Oh, yes! Although this exhaust is extremely expensive, uh, I'm gonna buy it anyways. Because, you know, you can't. You can't say no to that. You just, you just can't. Oh, by the way, just to let you guys know, I'm about 5 foot 8 ish. Thereabouts, and I am sitting in the normal position, and 
I can comfortably flat foot this bike on both feet. So that's a, a plus one for the uh, for the midgets. Oh my ears are fucking hurting, man. I think with all the pops and bangs I done in that uh, done in that multi-story car park, I might have uh, fucking temporarily deafened myself. Oh, for God's sake, man, that is just... It's, uh, 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 I just don't have words for how amazing that is! The control cluster is uh, easy to read. I can see I'm doing 3,900 RPM. Gear 4, I'm averaging 49.8 miles per gallon. It's 10 to 2, I'm going 45 miles an hour in a 50, I must say, just before you start hating on us. I'm in standard mode, I've got a full tank of fuel. And uh, I'm on eco mode, sorry, there's a really, 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 really tiny writing there, but all it says that it's, uh, it's, it just means that it's thousands of revs, that's all it means. But yeah, I can see everything on, on there without squinting or looking very hard, and um, the way I have my head when I'm riding my bike, uh, I, all I need to do is look down, same as I do on my bike, I don't have to move my head to see the clocks which I heard someone say, um, but I suppose it's just the way you, you sit on the bike, I suppose, with your head and, uh, and how far forward or backward you lean, etc. Uh, I hope the people at the bike shop don't think I've stolen the bike. Uh, I'm not going to because it's the wrong colour. But yeah, it's, uh, it's very comfortable. Um, I, I know the seat is a bit hard, but at the minute, I'm not feeling it. I know I will feel it later. But I feel that on my seat, and my seat isn't as hard as this one. You know, there's only so long you can sit on a seat before your ass gets so. Unless you have one of those uh, lovely gel seats or something like that, you know. For the, the money you spend on this bike, you know, you can't go wrong. I know people have said uh, that the suspension is uh, bouncy. Um, I can't really comment on that considering I haven't rode it uh, in a spirited fashion because of the weather, and plus I don't know the roads, um, so I can't really comment on that, but what I can comment on, kind of bobbling around town and uh, doing a couple of roads like this, you know, is it feels alright, you know, it's not bad, I don't think it's bad, I mean, if, if it's that bad, you could just replace uh, replace this, the shock or whatever, but I mean, I find it okay, and I mean, I know people compare it to the Z800 and the Street Triple and whatnot. But uh, I suppose at the uh, at the end of the day, you're spending like another two grand or something on top uh, of the price of this bike for a street triple, roughly. So I mean, of course you're going to get a bit extra for your two grand, you know. Uh, I know I would like to get a bit extra for my two grand. But for what, like I said, for what you pay for, uh, the 2015 ABS is seven thousand three hundred and eighty quid or something, and. Uh, I mean, I think you get quite a, quite a very good motorcycle for what you pay for, you know? Um, I don't know if I'd ever even bother changing the springs in it or not. I don't know. That's something to maybe think about it in a later date. But right now, like I said, I'm feeling okay, but I can't comment on the sportiness of it since I've never had a chance to uh, do that. Like, this is closed, and that's me just rolling on. So yeah, it's, it's very manageable. You can't get used to it. It takes you by surprise, uh, it does take you by surprise though, when you first get on it. Uh, but I mean, it's just the same with everybody, you just have to get used to it. Yeah, there's uh, ample amounts of power uh, in this motorbike. And I would highly, highly, highly not suggest it as a learner, uh, as a, like a beginner bike. No fucking way. You will end up doing literal backflips. Um, no, so, no, not a beginner bike, if you're even thinking about it. What I'd like to see on this, um, although I don't really mind that it's not on it, is uh, cruise control. That's what I would like, is uh, a little bit of cruise control. You know, since it is a 2015 uh, motorcycle, it would be nice. Like I said, I'm not really that bothered that it doesn't have it, but it would be a nice touch. Uh, but it would be a nice touch to have. Uh, it's a little bit of cruisy. If 
Clutchless shifting seems fine. No hassles with clutchless shift. Smooth, very nice. I can't see my camera and my yeah, I'm still going. I have to lean back to look at my camera in the dash. Which I don't have to on my motorcycle. I'm not buying it now. Because I can't see the camera. <sighs> Side stand's a bit of a awkward one to get to with a little bit of practice. But yeah, here it is. Just imagine that, an orange. That's what I'm after. Give you a wipe. Probably covered in shite. Yes, it's very nice. LED, LED brake light. This one has the RNG tail tidy on. Aquaporic exhaust. Gold upside down forks. Yeah, it's very nice. I like it. Nice. I'm so sorry. I don't even have a name for you, but I've loved you to pieces. But it is time. It is time to part. Sorry, but it just is. I'll miss you. I will miss you a lot. But I get to keep you for a little bit longer until I buy this badass machine. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Oh god. Oh wow. That sounds really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you to Salt Tires Motorcycles. <laughs>